Um, let's go see how you did the technique now. Yes, let's take so a look. So bring that table with you. I know, I'm just going <laughs> to walk around with my table. This is what you can't do with a wall. That's right. why it's nice <laughs> with furniture. So um, I have always been inspired by street art because of the color, because of the, the shapes, the patterns um, from that perspective. And all of those images we looked at really inspired this set for me. So with a piece like this, it's just, you know, an inexpensive laminate tabletop. So the first thing you've got to do if you're painting a laminate yes. is prime it. So make sure you okay. prime it with sticks primer and that way anything you put on top of it is going to stick. Okay, good. So Very that important. That laminate. This is wood MDF. So I just primed the MDF as well and then started painting. So with something like this, you know what? You, you, people always say, oh, do I have to be artistic? I'm not artistic and creative. Just relax. <laughs> just chill out. Chill out yeah. and just open up the paint cans. So <laughs> Get your it's about brushes. free. It's, it's it's more of a feeling than anything else. So yeah. just try it just and try don't it. trip yourself up by saying I would do not have a degree in fine arts. Well, it's okay. That's it. Exactly. You can do it. So I'll, I'll show you how to do just a quick mix of colors. So I've got sort of claret rose here, which is a nice strong red. It's very strong. Um, I've got yellow finch, and I have to be honest, I really did have these colors lying around. So sometimes you might have color samples lying around, or just sort of pick some up. I'm using an interior eggshell paint and then I'm okay. going to top coat it afterwards with acrylic urethane with stays clear so that'll protect it. This is going to protect it so if it's going to be a piece of furniture in your home this is going to mm -hmm. be an important step. That's it. Exactly. You're going to want to put glasses and maybe plates down on it so you want to make sure well, that you can do that. Yeah absolutely like if it's on your walls you don't have to worry about that but yeah. when it's a piece of furniture and it's going to be used forever so you can see I'm just being sort of really messy. Yeah you're just, just, just mixing it all together. Color, mixing them all together so you want to do that as sort of as your first step. You don't want to put it on too thick although you'll see that I did put some drip marks. Again, yes. because I'm going to cover it with stays clear, it's going to be protected. Okay. So let's pretend that's dried, like the one that I did last night. Okay. And then you want to get into some of the white. And I think what I tried to do was um, have fun with lettering, but I didn't want it to be um, a word. So I just imagined that I scaled in or I zoomed in mm -hmm. to a graffiti section on a wall. So I've got little pieces of the right. squirrels. So, so whatever really inspires you. Nice. Here I've got small brushes. I've I've got white, I've got Oxford white, and what I like to do is is um, try and use a bit more of a dry brush when you're doing the the shapes or the curls or the letters. Is it going to work a little bit better it, if you do that? Yes, and okay. you want to wait till this part's dry to get so you can get that real brush stroke. What so I like again. about the whites and the blacks is that it really gives it a little bit of depth. And that's what you might be missing if you look at it, you know, it's just all bright colors. You need the depth, you need the light and the dark to play out. Absolutely. With each other. And it completely changed when I went from here and then put the outlines of black. Yeah. And that's when it becomes a little more gritty, a little more, um, a little, you know, a little more edgy. And that's I right. think it's the black because otherwise it's very pretty and it's rainbows yes. and unicorns. You want to add that edge. <laughs> <laughs> Anchor it down a little bit. Very cool. Um, I love that you're introducing us to this in a way that is very accessible.